Uh, hello. Welcome to the Dark Mushroom Media Cast. This is episode 20 for us, so... Us. We've, we've been doing this for a while. Well, no, well, yeah, kind of a you. while. It's, uh, <laughs> that's a thing, boys. It is a thing. Like, we started, we did the, we recorded podcast in, like, November and December, and then we took off for a while. I think we started back up in February, so yeah, we've been doing this for a little bit. Yeah, we did start in February. I was actually just looking at the history since I saw since I saw that you put all the videos into. Uh, you should actually probably Thanks. mention that all the videos yes. on YouTube into a, a list. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that updated too. All of our stuff's in playlists. Yeah, guys. We have, cast, special cast, and playthroughs. We have a nice little list for you. Playthroughs. You know, the, the Bullshit. Delicious list. Ready we don't to go. play games on this channel. <laughs> Except for Muffin Night, that one Muffin day. Night, we, yeah. You missed that, Jose. That was the best. That was, that was literally that was the, the best, best for like five minutes, and then it just became like yeah, you're a goddamn awful. you're you're a goddamn. It became liar. that killing floor level. That's you're... what it became. <laughs> what? Dude, that killing floor level was the best. Don't be a hater. All right, all right. we gotta fucking stay on track here, boyos. Yeah, absolutely. Um, return of Jose. Return. Look at him. Yeah. He's healthy. He's What's alive. Not, we didn't kill him. You you do look healthier. You have a glow about you. you like do preg- I? it's like you're pregnant yeah. or pregnant something. Glow. <laughs> yeah, pregnant glow. <laughs> Well, uh, if you guys will allow me, I'd like to give a, a like a minute PSA. Hey, dude, you do on, you, man. Go you for it. Uh, you know, I, I don't YouTube think anyone's plans. watching now, but, you know, this will be safe for posterity. Um, but uh, if your body feels off in any way, uh, you should probably pay attention to it. You know, you know your body better than anyone. And uh, if something just feels wrong and it's been feeling wrong for, you know, a while... I have it checked out. Don't wait till it's like too late. I recently had my gallbladder removed. Um, it's uh, it was the worst experience of my life. It had become infected in me, festering in my body cavity for years, because I assumed that it was part of the. I suffer from a GERD. I've got ulcers all over my esophagus, and just the medicine doesn't crack. really. Uh, sucks. It's mainly gastrointestinal, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Like anything, you know. That's it's always been pretty. Yeah, I remember you didn't even, you like you didn't drink beer for years, like <laughs> like, yeah, even, like soda, shit like that. I remember. And, and uh, that's another thing I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, so you know, I always assumed that this pain I felt was because of that. Uh, it turns out it was my my gallbladder I had a gallstone that just grew and grew and grew over time. It was two centimeters long, uh, or in circumference. By the time they they, they pulled it all out. Uh, so yeah, it had, it had become like too infected. And so I, I was rushed to the hospital. I was in an insane amount of pain, the highest dosage of whatever narcotic they have there. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. It was like a tickle. Uh, so all I could do was really just like, you know, shed manly tears and, uh, pray for death Yeah. until, you know, days later I was finally ready for like surgery. Uh, no, like a day later. Uh, so yeah, I mean, and that's something I, I never bothered getting looked at, even though it was like a pain. I assumed I knew what it was. So if you guys get physicals for work or anything, just uh, keep in mind, you know, if, if something's different, something's off, look into it, take care of it. And and spiel. Oh, also, I can't I have to alter my diet now completely. So, you know, consequences of waiting for doing you know, for looking yeah, at how's your, how's your diet change? What's going on with that? Uh, You're not off the cheesecake, are you? Can't eat red meats anymore. Um, because of uh, the bile uh, that's absent, you know, it's still getting it from my liver. Uh, I can't really eat fatty foods like fried foods, uh, just good tasting foods in general. Uh, and that, of course, entails, you know, cutting back on sugary drinks, sodas, cheesecake with jam, you know, all the things that make. We all know how much you love your cheesecake. Yeah. You so, uh, it's yeah. ridiculous. That's all I'm going to say on that. All right. And it's well, good to be back. It's good to have you back, Jose. It is good to have you it back. Is good the band's to have back, you back together. Buddy. It is. There's, um, there's something enticing about it. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's the hair. It, this, this has really <laughs> lacked a luster since you left. <laughs> really? No, no, no. I'm just Didn't you guys uh, rock, <laughs> You're rock lo- the You're losing you meant nothing. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I'd like to say there's a happy ground between the two. Mm-hmm. I will say I, I probably didn't put down all the Dota jerking you guys are doing over the last couple of streams. We have been doing that. some Dota jerking. There has been a lot absence. of 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 that. Yes, we do like to jerk the Dota. We that do, and we, we we thoroughly enjoy it. Yes. All right. Um, 
Well, we really have new one new release, really, or at least that's in our immediate attention. That is Tabletop Simulator is out June fifth, and not only is it coming out of early access, but they're doing like officially licensed board game DLC. Hold on, real quick, just just real quick. It's our it's our first episode back with Jose, and the and the, the first thing we're leading off with is Tabletop Simulator. Go back I, to it. I love Go back Tabletop to it. Simulator. That's exactly why I'm leading off with it because. Jose's played way more tabletop simulator oh, than I have, and That's I think great. that game is awesome. Uh, so could, yeah, hit hit me. What's what's going on with tabletop sim, boys? Oh, well, it's I great. Guess Tim for... has a little more news about that. Well, no, it's just uh, me and Jose have always joked about it, ever since we got it and looked into it. There has been like just all the copyright infringement in that game. There is like border Mo- Borderlands Monopoly to like lit- literally anything. Dude, th- there are games that straight up uh, they scanned in assets from existing games <laughs> and then put them up. <laughs> Onto it. Uh, like Pathfinder, the the like yeah. D&D card game, like Magic. Magic was a thing. Magic up there. Yeah. Everything, like all the popular Hearthstone. Current, like, board they games. had Hearthstone with. <laughs> you could play Hearthstone with all the cards, Palmer. Really? It's glor- yes, Yo, it's I'm glorious. In. I'm in. And, and do you guys remember when, when when Valve implemented the whole paid DLC thing? I think a, a month ago, maybe two months yeah, ago. Yeah, we, we, we. I was we scared for the future of tabletop sim because I was like. Later. Mother Christ! Now That's, all these assholes are going to charge for things, or they're going to get you know it's going to you know come up to the attention of the people that actually own the the, the board games, and they're going to take them all down. Uh, but I'm glad that they're going to release paid licensed games. I mean, yeah, that's, but that's exactly what you just were worried about that, is happening. Well, I, I'm worried that I mean now it's a little more there's it, it's less shady now. You know, it's always been kind of yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely true. You know, it's, like it's, it's, it's more it's not really mods, it's officially licensed like yeah. products for the game. So now so. you have the choice of paying, you know, seven hundred dollars for Pathfinder <laughs> on tabletop sim. Right. Instead of just straight up stealing it. Oh, but yeah. uh <laughs> it's a thing that I sink lots of hours into, or I did, you know, play with my friends. We we make our own um or we made our own like RPG levels like D and D boards to play with. Like that. Uh uh was it um me and uh, Dan Lawson, we were making a. Uh, forget the name of this RPG, but we were making like the sets that we were going to have for like a future RPG session that I think Tim, you're you're going to be involved with. At some right, point, then. remember he uh, sent us like a PDF a while back. Uh, but yeah, so you know we we could spend hours just making little worlds for these games. I fa- in fact I remember the first time I met like a uh, a couple of your friends, we were uh, streaming stuff on tabletop sim and I made like a little impromptu RPG session with like you Oh yeah, with the guy and your boy uh, Corbin I think Cor- and Kerbin. we were just, oh, yeah. <laughs> the introduction of Corbin was met oh, with that. God. Oh god. The Corbin <laughs> so, yeah, episodes that we had while you were fun. gone was like <laughs> uh-huh. the best. <laughs> He's a funny dude. You should have, you should absolutely go back and watch that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's great for role playing. It's great for just fucking around with friends, um, digital and board strangers. games and shit like that. And strangers. Remember Shrek? Me and Jose Shrek. popped in this random guy's uh, game, and it was a board game. And the guy's name was Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life. The and the game made no Shrek. sense whatsoever. <laughs> like no sense. But we played it. It was glorious. And we were convinced he was a like a script. a bot. Like, he was, yeah, he was like we were a bot. Convinced. But he's like I remember seeing him like the next day or some shit. Like I'm, that guy is just really dedicated to the idea of Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Nice. Dumped a lot of hours of his life into it. But yeah, the releasing next Tuesday, I think. Yeah, next Tuesday, so about a week. And it's gonna. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see where the uh, officially licensed DLC goes from there. Like if they do get big names like I don't know, anything from like Warhammer, Pathfinder to like lower oh, lower end awesome, stuff. Dude, yeah. if, they, if they could if they could just release Warhammer as like a, a digital game, kind of like you know, not not quite like the Hearthstone formula, less less pay, more play. Uh well with tabletop it, simulator you could literally if you t- like it has workshop. If you took the time, you could literally make the forty K models and just really? play forty K. Yeah, you could do that. It would take a lot of time. I'm sure someone's been working on like forty K or Warhammer models though. Yeah, I've seen I've seen like new models and stuff for like fantasy settings and stuff on yeah. the workshop. Like it has a pretty expensive um, uh workshop. I hope what what they end up doing, I hope, is that as a game gets licensed, then they remove that game from the workshop. I don't. I hope they don't just straight up just remove everything, start from scratch, and only offer paid stuff. Um, 
you know, a friend of mine they, tried they, to explain they to me. They'd get a lot like, of feedback or flack if they did that, I think. Yeah, but then, you know, they could blame it on Valve, you know. They could the, play the, the playing game. Of the blame it on the games. And so, like, you know, no one knows who to be <laughs> mad at. I don't know. I, I a lot of that shit's still up there. I, I know some stuff got taken down, but I, I Hearthstone might still be up. That might be a thing. So I, I really don't think there's going to be like this baptism of fire where they get rid of any, everything. But it it could happen. Yeah, I mean maybe they'll call it Hearthstone and Hearthstone. change everything. Change like the vowels. <laughs> the H double O R R T H. Keep it exactly the same. Just give everyone troll faces. Oh man, that'd be amazing, dude. I'd play the shit out of that. <laughs> You know, actually, uh, that would that would be really cool for theory crafting if somebody actually did put all the ga- cards into the game. That would they, let you it's, have. It's a thing. I just I'm pretty sure it's still up. But if it's up, it's on the workshop. If, yeah, and I'm sure there's several instances of it too. Because it would give you access <laughs> to every card. It'd be amazing. Yeah. No, Man. no pay to play. No pay to win. Goodness. <laughs> That'd be cool. Actually, I could get behind that. I might, might you guys might have just swayed my interest here. <laughs> nice. Uh, isn't uh, Don't Starve also being released in early June? I think the, I the multiplayer. I haven't heard of any official announcement. Maybe I don't know. You're I'm you're more likely sure to, I heard you're more likely to visit remember. the forums than I am. Right. I'm, I'll just double check. Don't Starve being the paid beta for the free update for Don't Starve or Don't Starve. Did they already release that? No, they released it in early access, and then it's going to be a free update to everyone that has Don't Starve, but people wanted to pay $20 to play a fucking alpha beta, so, you know, whatever. Um, Didn't they release that on PS4? According, uh, I heard something about that. I don't know I if they th- released together. I think they It would be did. kind of weird if they released something on PS4 before PC, especially when it's in early I'm access. pretty positive I've seen it on the Steam store for like five bucks. That's the base game. No, the, no, 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 on, no. The mul- don't start together has gone on yeah. sale for five bucks, but its base twi- price is twenty. Right, right, right. But I'm saying I'm I'm pretty sure I've seen it on on sale on the the PlayStation Network. Oh, marketplace. Five, yeah, for five bucks for Don't Starve Together. I'm pr- I'm pretty positive. I have to double check, but that'd be kind of ridiculous to have an early access game released on PlayStation Four. Then that, that well, if it's I don't know the idea of right? selling an alpha or beta. If it's going to be free anyway. It's for t- that. It's just mm. so yeah, I really wouldn't surprise me. I don't really want to surprise me if the developers, developers were pulling some shenanigans like that. According to the store page, it says June 3rd, 2015. Oh, well, that's next Wednesday, so that's yeah, a week that's right now. right around the corner. Maybe I've just seen ads for it then. I that even, might be what it is. I haven't even heard of it, but it's not something I delve really into. It was fun for a few hours, and then it was kind of me. But maybe with the multiplayer integration and Jose nagging me 24 7 to play it. I was it, just I, about to say that, actually, with the multiplayer integration. That could be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, how many players is it going to be? Just two? I think it's four, isn't it? Is it? We should do a Let's four. Play of that. Honestly, we should. Yeah. That, could be oh, yeah. a lot, that could be a lot of fun to do. We'd have some, some stupid fucking... We thought the antics were great in fucking Muffin Night. Oh, nothing's going to compare just... to Muffin Night. <laughs> I can't, the Don't Starve can't compare to Muffin Night. It's just not a thing. That was an experience. <laughs> as far as uh, new releases on the horizon... Uh, last weekend, Shadowrun Hong Kong was revealed to be coming out this summer, mm. which is cool. I've been playing a lot of Shadowrun Chronicles I've been lately, and I've a uh, shitload of Shadowrun Chronicles. Yeah, uh, and I've also been playing Shadowrun uh, Dragonfall, which was yeah. the expansion of the first game that I can't remember off the top of my head. Wow. Anyway, um, this the past two Shadowrun games that Harebrain Schemes has done, the developers that did the uh, the first two Shadowrun games, not Chronicles. Uh, it was built for both PC and tablet, like that type of uh, engine. But this time around, they're planning on doing no tablets, just focusing on the PC. Hmm. It's gonna, it's not gonna, it's gonna look about the same, but I think it'll look a lot shinier, a lot. It'll just, it'll just look better when you're not worried about building it for a tablet or okay. a tablet type of infrastructure. So I'm really excited about that. I'm not really excited. I'm, I'm happy for that. I love the Shadowrun universe. It's just fucking so dumb and so wonderful. That's, you it, know. Is, it is something. <laughs> yeah, Calling, and the, the thing with Shadowrun Chronicles, since it's a multiplayer game, it, it, like people are way, way too into it, and uh, like they call everyone chummers and say whiz. Oh and god, boy. so it's like actual like role playing. Yeah, like, like a lot of people. A lot of people <laughs> wait, wait, do that. 
What? Yeah, yeah, people do that. It's it's pretty hilarious. That's I'm just kind of I'm a, I'm just a little you know gone. It's three in the morning. I just want to do some runs. And some guys like, "Oi, chumma, let's go do some runs." And I'm like, "Oh fuck," gets stuck with one of those. That's but amazing. of course, he's like level eight million, so that's, you you got to put up with it. That's like those uh, <laughs> what the hell? Like WoW had like special servers for people that oh, totally wanted. Oh, RP wanted, servers. Yeah, RP servers. Hell yeah. For people that just totally wanted to immerse themselves and completely become that character, I played on an RP RP PVP server for a while, and that I think that did things to me psychologically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chronicles is kind of having the same effect on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fun, but uh, speaking of Shadowrun Chronicles, that game like mm, should was not ready to leave early access like in the slightest. Nope. <laughs> well, you don't. You don't even know, dude. Like, you played it for half an hour. Like, you didn't experience the multiplayer system. Dude, that's because fuck. I couldn't fucking get into it, like, at all. Like, oh, how many right. times did I try to stage. fucking log into that yeah, game, launch dude? Day, it just didn't work. No, it was way more. It was like like two weeks after launch. <laughs> One two weeks. Okay, a week. Mm. It was definitely. It was definitely at least a week because I I I ended. I was gonna review it, and it got to the point where it was too late, where I couldn't connect reliably. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> the, like, I mean, the servers are up now, and there's just the multiplayer. The way the infrastructure is, it's just not good at all. And they're they're doing updates. Like uh, today, they came out with a cosmetic patch, so now you can have pets. Yay! Pets. Everything needs pets these days. Yeah, too. pets and booty shorts and Fucking boxers. That's what they did instead of fixing their multiplayer. But Dota, whatever. Diablo, every, everything's getting pets, man. And it's, it wouldn't bother me so much if, if the game worked properly, but it doesn't. But it's, it's as a Shadowrun fan, it's still fucking stupid fun. I got a dwarf samurai, I'm just running around katana and shit and shotgunning shit. Good stuff. Uh, but why don't we move on to something we're all kind of familiar with, and that would be Killing Floor 2, which we all played last night, didn't we? Woo! Yeah. We, uh, got its first substantial update. It's done some hot fixes and stuff since it launched, but this is the first like actual you know content yeah. update. Was out new level collectibles on the new level and all previous levels. Some new achievements, oh. force collectibles, little things like that. But the new yeah. level, uh, pretty fucking big. What did you boys think about it? I thought it was cool. Um, pretty well designed. There's lots of choke points, lots of stuff you can interact with in the level. We enjoyed shooting the pool table cool. for for minutes until we died. <laughs> that, I think every that would single get one us of killed. us got killed from the pool table. <laughs> we would just be shooting the pool balls on the table, trying to make them move the way we wanted to, and just end up dying. Uh, um, but that was part of the, 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 the great fun of that map. Uh, the basement was really creepy, just skin bodies everywhere, and pieces Little of thing. skin dangling from, from, from chains, <laughs> you know, just Hellraiser-esque all over the place. Uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was really big. It was well-designed. Um... It feels better than any of the custom maps that have been released so far. Um, I haven't even delved into any of those. I know yeah, they're, they're pretty been. basic. They're pretty basic so yeah. far. Um, the golden one, the, even the golden eye one's pretty basic, but that's because it's actually like using textures that are similar to <laughs> what it was. On yeah, the and to be fair, board. it's kind of a basic level to begin with. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually, I, that was really boring because I was on a server with like a uh, hundred people. Jose, you were yeah. in on that game too, I and like monsters, one. monsters would not spawn like yeah. at all. And, uh, and we had to, we all had to like concentrate in the little central room, or else they wouldn't spawn from that corridor. Yeah. Uh, so then it was it was kind of broken. So yeah, on a on a massive server that map sucks. Uh, but I would be very interested that the new map the whatever what the fuck is it called? Uh, uh something manor 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 yeah, manor something manor 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 there's almost like choke points on every floor, like the main lobby. Then there's like the the basement. Like it would be cool to see like two groups seeing like who could survive the longest, because that level gets insane. There's openings everywhere. They there crawl is. from the ceiling, from the floor, from behind you, from the front. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit crazy. Uh, it's a good map for moving around a lot. Though. It is just going forward. Don't look back. Going yeah, forward. That was my forward, boys. Floor. Only forward. <laughs> I watched Game of Thrones, by the way, and that finally clicked, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, is that a Game of Thrones thing? <laughs> My God. Of course, fucking Palmer. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like that, that, that subtle reference? He had about as much logic as you did. The <laughs> that, 
Yeah, it's true. <laughs> well, Palmer's always the last to die, so maybe there's something to that. It's because I'm running around like an ass. He's not doing anything. He's running. No, no, no. I'm, shoot I'm shooting zombies, but if I if I don't kill I them by the time you, I you run would, like, past them, and then I'm, them, I'm and done. Then I'm they, gone. They would chase you. Like you would yeah. shoot their head off, and then they'd come at you, and I'm like, "Fuck!" So I shoot them off you. And yeah, that's because you were following me. I was, I was only worried about myself, Tim. Only forward W, the only key you need. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we did last for a while. Sorry about that. Yeah, we did. It was a lot of fun, it's, especially considering how under leveled you are, and the fact we were playing it on hard. That probably yeah. had a little bit to do with it. I do need to level up in that game. Well, they're gonna wipe it anyway, so I guess I don't really give a shit, honestly. <laughs> I was actually expecting them to have wiped it with this with this uh, patch, but I, I but really the only thing that I'm to wipe it is adding like whole new um, perks. Well, they might do some balance changes and shit like that too. Possibly, possibly, but like uh, honestly, I don't know. they could they could do it like the the way Payday was handled. Whenever they do a wipe, like wipe it, make everybody yeah, set to there. zero, but you still keep all your points and your level. If yeah, if they if they prolong a wipe for much longer, I could see them doing that. Yeah. Just yeah. as people have been putting, you know, it's been out for what a month now, longer. So. Yeah, that's true. And I, when when are they saying the full releases that it's going to be? It's supposed to be soon, fall. right? It seems. Oh, okay. Late, not until late, the fall. late okay, summer, right. fall. Okay. Late summer, fall. Well, if it's late summer, it seems like it's pretty slow. Like, how many more maps are they going to release? Like one a month. Well, the thing about so Tripwire, like they, they four, put out, like, you know, seven, maybe they'll do seven maps, but then they'll do, like, another two maps a year for the next fucking five years or some shit, and that's not including, like, the community-made stuff. Or, or Christmas variants. Christmas variants, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The holidays and stuff. Yeah. And I, with, even with shit like Red Orchestra, they just throw out a map every, like, couple months. They're just like, here, have a new fucking map. Yeah, so. yeah. It is one thing that I appreciate about them. Oh, I love Tripwire so much. It's a key. Uh, last bit of news, Dirty Bombay, though, starts next Tuesday. Is it open? Open, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, say. okay. So now you can just fucking pop in. This is a game you guys have talked about before. Times, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys were in the closed beta, right? Yeah. I got, I, I'm in it, I never, I have yet to boot it up. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, reformatted, I reformatted my computer, actually, uh, and I haven't even reinstalled it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's just a, it's something that keeps like, I'm really psyched about it whenever we talk about it. It sounds like so much fun. Uh, and then I just forget about it as soon as the podcast. Did you, uh, I don't, I don't see it, being... it to me again? I, I kind of forgot what it's the like game. Team Fortress esque. Uh, it's Team Fortress meets Brink, if you want to yeah. like real dumb it down. That's basically what it is. Oh. Uh, it's pretty fun though. I don't see it being something that any of us would, you know, be one of our regular games that we played constantly, but it's definitely. Something, especially since it's free to play, it's something you can get a group of people together and play for a night, and it's really fun. And then you forget about it for a couple of weeks or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely fits well into that mold. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, everything I've seen about it, like I've said before, it looks like a lot of fun. Tim, you said it was a lot of fun, so yeah, it's pretty fun. Definitely willing to give it a shot. And oh, real quick before we move on, um, I watched some of the uh character reveals for the uh like the blizzard tf2 thing whatever the hell that's called i can't remember off the top of my head yeah me neither. um that game looks awesome <laughs> like really really fun you can climb walls with certain characters you can like do all sorts of cr like one of them is an angel that can fly to different points on the map and like heals from long distances and like it's crazy dude that game looks like it's gonna be a fucking blast uh I think it was, like, last week they announced that it was going to be uh, in closed beta starting this fall. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really psyched about that one. That one looks like that'll actually be a lot of fun if, if Blizzard manages to wrangle in their fucking pay-to-win shit. Yeah, I was about to say, I have no interest in that game until I figure out what the price model... Their, I mean, their it's going to... I guarantee it's going to be, like, fucking... If it's, like, Heroes of the Storm, I'm, is, just, I'm not playing it. Be, I just won't be. play it on principle. I don't give enough of a fuck. There are plenty of TF2S games out there that are free or paid. Doesn't matter. They're just better games out there. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Speaking of paying for bullshit, Counter-Strike Go, uh, it's the newest uh, community-made map pack bullshit. Although it's more than that uh, this time around. They've been doing like a little book thing for the past few uh, medals, but now they're calling it a campaign. What's well, called Operation Bloodhound. Uh, they're calling it a campaign, two campaigns. It's basically kill this many people with this gun. There, you did a mission. Then, in this particular playset, 
kill this many people this way. That's a mission. And then eventually you can fight your way to co-op, which I'm kind of curious to see how that works in Counter-Strike. Yeah, the way you described it as we were playing like a few rounds of Counter-Strike earlier, it, it seemed really bizarre. It's like I've never Volvo. really heard what? Of... Why? It's, I don't understand why... They have to kill chickens, I think. Yeah, I have to kill. Yeah, one of the highest end missions, like one of the last missions to do in this thing, is to kill five hundred chickens. So you're just gonna run around maps, kill chickens, and get slaughtered. That's that's pretty much what Volvo is asking you to do. I've got to say the uh, the art that they released for this when you when you sent me the link, dude. All I could think about was the Wolfenstein Old Blood cover and the fact that oh, it's the got red, blood. everything. Yeah, 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 and the fact that it's got blood in the title, just all. <laughs> Old blood all over the place. <laughs> Fucking Volvo, man. <laughs> so you said these were community-made missions? Yeah, they've been doing... No, the maps. The maps. Yeah, maps. yeah, the maps. Oh. They've, they've been doing this for a couple of years now. Then yeah, why is this one... I think the link you sent said it was $5. It's, it's been $5 for all of them. Six, actually. Oh, okay. It's been six for all of them, still. But, uh... Yeah, it's it's uh, way Volvo. I gotta stop saying fucking Volvo. It's a way Valve introduced uh, supporting content creators in Counter Strike. Oh, okay. They basically, pick four maps and then they run them in official playlist for. I think this one started yesterday and it runs till the end of September. So they run it for four, three or four months, and then about a month later they start up another one. They've been doing that for a couple of years now. I've I've picked up almost half a dozen of them. I haven't really done any of them lately, but I did the one last summer and it was pretty fun. But uh. It's it's actually kind of fun. It's gotten me back into Counter Strike. I'm doing a lot of stupid shit like trying to kill chickens and fucking playing sh- playlists I don't really want to play. But it's got me back into Counter Strike. Some of the maps are pretty cool. The zoo map was really should just have been titled Aquarium because there's just fish everywhere, and it's Counter Strike. So while you're playing it, there's just twelve year old screaming Call of Duty fish physics and shit like that. It's tons of fun. Tons of fun, boyos. Nice. Uh, but yeah. My really, main gripe. You're really selling it for me, Tim. Well, I just really, I really don't like that I have to unlock co-op. Like, why is that a thing? I, you literally have to do like seven. Or eight At least missions. you don't have to pay to unlock it, Tim. They could have. We have to pay to fucking get it. Yeah, so. I guess that's true. I mean, I'm I'm. They could have charged you an positive. extra two dollars for co-op. Yeah. Or they Wait. could charge people who don't want to pay <laughs> play through the fucking uh, well, all, campaign stuff just two dollars to own. With all the other previous. It. With all the other previous maps, you could invite people that didn't own the medal to play with you as long as you hosted. And I'm assuming that's the same with the co-op, because if it isn't, that's just fucking retarded. Wait, so what, what we played earlier was only accessible if you paid for it? No, no, no. What we played earlier was just your standard death match. But what we did play... But we didn't the, do any of the new maps? We did do the new maps. Oh. As long as somebody owns it, you can play Yeah, as it. long as the host owns it. Oh, Actually, okay. I don't even think it has to be the host. It's just anyone in the party. Yeah, anybody in the party owns the content. Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. And yeah. the new chest drops and everything that are that'll fucking if you get two of them inside the first couple of weeks, it basically pays for itself. So that's also yeah, a thing. Yeah, that's true too. Because you can actually <laughs> still sell those items. Yeah. Usually, I mean, when I was playing Counter Strike like a couple of years ago, and I did this stuff, like I would make money off of stupid things just because I'd get so many chests. Because I think you can get up to two or three a week. So that was funsies. Anyway, um, let's move on to something. We've been meaning to talk about for a while. Let's do uh, the Chivalry versus Depth patch. Now, what this is yeah. is two games: Chivalry, Chivalry Medieval Warfare, and Depth. Chivalry being a medieval Warfare. decapitate simulator, yes. <laughs> depth being a shark. Dis- yeah, well, actually, Depth is more dismembering and decapitating yeah, simulator. That's so true. Um, basically, just uh, cross. I'm just like cross platform developers coming together and like putting each other's shit in each other's games. I love it when this happens. Cross-promotional, thank you. I love it when they do this. Um, most recently, I think Payday did it with Hotline Miami. Mm-hmm. But, uh, Payday I did love it with uh, John Wick? John Wick. They did, yeah. yeah. Not a game, but still, awesome. I guess. Cross-promotion. Oh, Jesus. But actually, <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, Fandango. It was, a, it was Fandango Payday uh, cross-promotional because they, got, they offered the game free if you bought your tickets for John Wick through Fandango. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Should have bought my tickets for John Wick through Fandango, boys. <laughs> Would have played that John Wick so DLC excited. right before seeing the John Wick movie. <laughs> Just ready to go. <laughs> oh, the DLC's free, so you can still play it. Mm. That's the thing. Uh, but anyway. Um, in Chivalry, you got some depth items. One being a uh, shark 
helm for the Vanguard class, which is just hilarious. And they got everything. They got something for just about every class. There's a club for the knight. Um, a sword? It's a sword or a shield for the sword and shield guy, and I forget what the archer has. But yeah, just some items for that. And then as far as depth goes, they added a level. Usually in depth, you run around and you get like, you know, old booty chests and like uh, goblets and just goofy kind of piratey shit. Yeah. But uh, with the depth pat or with the chivalry integration, you run around and you get like pieces of armor and shields and stuff. And you also get a like a little sword dagger, just a couple of uh, cosmetics for your in-game stuff too. So, and both the uh, both the updates were free, so that's also nice. But yeah, mm-hmm. I just love it when developers come together and do shit like that, kind of show respect for one another and put stuff in each other's games and promote and yada yada. Just I don't know, it just tickles my fancy for some reason. Especially when they're two games I do enjoy. Death, not as much as Chivalry, but I love Chivalry. That game is awesome. Yeah, I really like that. I like it when, I guess since I started playing, they've been doing a lot of promotional stuff for Death. Like, like slashing the price for it or adding the Chivalry stuff. Uh, and that always boosts the, the, the player count. And that's right. always fun because then I actually dominate the games. Two weeks later, you know, pass. And then when I'm back the to being Scrub League. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's a Mako and they destroy everyone. It's, yeah, I, I always enjoy that because, you know, it, the most basic thing, that it ups the numbers, you know, it ups the player count. Well, uh, you, I don't know how many people retain that uh, retains them. You're guaranteed a good surge when the summer sale starts because that happens yeah. in every goddamn game. So, you know, oh. brace brace for that. One second, because so, I, yeah. I, I, with the summer sale, too, it'll it'll probably drop to... How much has it been on sale before? Has it gotten to the $5 12. point yet? No oh, God, no! It's twelve, twelve fifty. Like we 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 split a four pack between us, so it came out mm-hmm. to be around ten bucks or so. Yeah. Wait, no, twenty. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, about ten bucks a copy around there. Maybe okay. I don't know. I can't math. But no, it's it came out like late last year. Uh, it's it's a pretty decent game. It looks pretty good considering it's a random indie no name company. So, well, now they have a name, but at the time, obviously. But yeah, they they probably the should. The premise is awesome too. Yeah, they they should you know, decrease the price a little bit though, because. Well, that that's what I was gonna say. Is I'm pretty sure it'll it'll probably hit a five dollar point during the summer no, sale. No, not that. You low. don't think so? No, seven fifty maybe. Even as like a flash deal. Five dollars? No, it's like a thirty dollar oh. game, and it just recently. Yeah, it's out. still and it does it does retain a player good. base. Yeah, it still retains a player base. Like I, I popped on it at five in the morning and found a game. So. If it gets to the point where they're, you know, lacking for players, I'm sure that's what they'll do. But I think right now they'll try to, because they're actually doing stuff with the money. They're adding like the chivalry stuff. They did an update before it, which was when me, Jose, and everyone got on it. So they they've been doing a lot of post uh, release content. So I'm okay with that megalodon. Yeah, the megalodon mode. I don't know. Either way, it's bound to drop pretty low during the summer sales. So yeah, I'm sure it'll lose players. It'll probably be under ten bucks. Yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely let you guys know. Definitely, yeah. I'm just, we are planning to do some type of summer cast thing, although I don't really depth know how cast. to... Depth cast. Depth cast. Um, well, well, I'll change the background so it's a beach. <laughs> we'll, all have to to we'll, all, we'll all have to be shirtless, wearing wearing bathing suits, surfboards Snorkel. in the background. I'll get Kelly to wear a bikini. It'll be great. All right, um, let us move on to H1Z1, which is something I've been meaning to talk about for weeks now. But, it's something uh, I've been meaning to play forever, but then you always poo the idea. And then when I'm exactly. dead in the hospital, yeah, you when, play when you're the in the shit hospital, that's when I play the shit out of it, exactly. Like Jose is away, I can play now. Glorious. <laughs> you are with a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I do that with you. I do that with everyone. You do that with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. H1Z1, for those who aren't aware, uh, survival horror, I guess. Um, MMO? Daisy type of going after that crowd. Man, I cannot word right now. Anyway, it had a shitty launch, and uh, we all played it around launch. And none of us really touched it, and then I hopped on it a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago now, just to see where the game is gone, because... And I, a lot of things changed in that time span. Uh, around February is when it came out, so it's been about three months since it's come out. Uh, the biggest thing, or the biggest update they've done, 
as far as drawing numbers to themselves, is the integration of the Steam market, which a lot of games are doing lately. I, I can't even remember the names of them, but like they're, in the past few weeks, there have been a couple games popping up with Steam market integration as far as in-game items and stuff go. And you would be surprised how much that boosts the player base. Just knowing some random asshole Steam user can hop on the market and get like you know a dollar worth of gear and just be souped up for the get-go. It's, it's, I don't know the Steam chart in front of me, but yeah, it's, it's surprisingly huge. Anyway, um, with the introduction of all these items and stuff, the way they did the system before was like Team Fortress 2 or Dota, or how Dota used to do it, was where you got a crate, you buy a key, you get a random item. Don't see that being a viable thing for them anymore, just because you can get more than half of the shit now for like five cents in the Steam market. So I don't know how the developers feel about that because like a big thing when this game came out was everyone was clamoring it was kind of pay to win ish because you could buy those airdrops where you would get you know guns and cosmetics and backpacks and shit like that. Those tickets now are sixteen cents, whereas they were like two fifty before the Steam Market thing. So I don't at least that argument's gone, I guess. Unless you consider twenty cents pay to win. I mean Kind of still is, but still paying. It's 20 cents. still paying, yeah. Um, a lot of the textures look a lot better. The weather system, still nowhere to be found, even though, like, in the store page, they have screenshots of, like, zombies in the snow and just snowy backgrounds. It's still not a thing in the game, but they promise it's coming. And what else? They promise, boys. They, pro- they How many promise. Updates have they had, or is this, like, the first big. They've had a couple updates. of big updates. That was just the one that kind of drew the most attention to them because Steam Market people go uh, ape shit. There have been a lot of reworks in that game. Like uh, I remember cans of food. They would run 100 bulk, which is, you know, you have 100 bulk in your pocket and then you carry a backpack that has X amount of bulk, yada, yada, yada. Point is they were fucking huge for food cans and now they're, back, they're down to 25. And just a little, a lot of little things like that. Like a bag of potato chips no longer weighs like 8,000 pounds. Like you can carry a bag of potato chips. It's not a big deal. Hooray. Yeah, just little things like that. More room but for cans. The main, the main thing here is hacking is still a huge issue. Like I pop, I, really? I, when I initially popped on, I popped on PvP like I always used to do. I never really fucked with the PvE. Just kind of fucking around with item builds and stuff. But, uh. I popped on the PvP, and within five minutes, I got, like, no clip, 360, no scope, through the wall, just murdered. And the guy floated over my corpse. (laughs) Classy. Just floated over my corpse, and I... Oh, man, that's classic. I immediately switched to PvE. Uh, yo, can we play PvP with hacks, please? Let's download hacks and play PvP. Never. Please. But I, I hopped on PvE, and the huge problem with PvE was there were no fucking zombies because everyone would run around and kill the zombies, and like they would respawn at ludicrous, ludicrously slow rates. But now zombie hordes are a thing uh, in PvE. So like if you go into a city, it's not uncommon to like just turn the corner, and there's just 50 zombies, and they turn and like start running at you. That's pretty cool. Uh, PvE is actually terrifying. kind of fun now because you can kill people in PvE now because zombie hordes. Oh. If you know if you know someone's <laughs> nice. in a particular building and there's a big enough horde, you can just loot, like run them around the building so the zomb- the, the uh, building's just surrounded by zombies. And these are actual hordes. Like I, I think the biggest one I saw was around like seventy. Like actually, it was up on a balcony. I had nowhere to go, so I started counting them. Like so, hmm. that well, PvE is actually fun now. Is a real, th- that's the thing. Real quick, going back to the hacking, I didn't. I, I think I just read an article talking about how they just banned like a hundred thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Oh, Twenty-five thousand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For for ha- which, so I guess they're 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 taking the appropriate measures or at least starting. Yeah, but they're you know? saying if you make a I'm sorry YouTube video, we'll unhack for you. So. What? Well, that's okay. great. Urban what legend. But uh, yourself as a hacker. Well, it, doesn't, be- it doesn't benefit them to ban anybody because that's one less person they can get money from. So yeah, if they broke the terms of service, like so, the money's already theirs. If anything, these idiots yeah, but, like microtransactions. Well, I just explained to you that that's not that's pretty much not a thing. Mm-hmm. They got they're gonna have to. They're making figure their, out they're making off. their five cents off every sale. <laughs> they gotta keep that. You going. You would be surprised. <laughs> how, like I'm sure, like thousands of those tickets have like exchanged hands in the yeah. past like 24 hours. So they probably do make a decent amount of change off that. And I really doubt people were spending. You know, people were buying those crates and keys for like two fifty a pop and uh, airdrops and stuff. But it wasn't like you know the whole community was doing it. Yeah, for I guarantee there's a lot more people doing it right now. Yeah. 
I mean, air, fucking airdrops are like 16 cents. I own a couple. I haven't even called them in. I just bought them because they were like 16 cents. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a cool hat. Maybe. But yeah, they have, they have banned uh, 25,000 players. Another important thing, um, Australia has servers now. Is that Australia? Yeah, I think it's Australia. Yeah. Which means all the Chinese hacks or like roaming triad gangs are now in the Australians. So not all of them, but a lot of them. You that mean was a huge nerdy thing. Chinese university students? Maybe. I don't think they're Dude, trying. They were, they were ro- like about a month into that game, they were just roaming around in gangs. It was horrifying. No, dude, that happened when we oh, were you playing, might. you remember? The... I got we got like hit by a car that was like a Chinese driven by a Chinese like all yeah. Chinese like letters or characters were the name. And I was just like, Oh god. Oh god. Dude, I remember there was one session where Tim and I we made it our mission to like kill or yeah. try to kill as many uh, Chinese. I, I donned as the possible. name China Hunter. I just went around asking people if they were Chinese. And I just, like, shook my head behind him. There again. <laughs> but he followed me. He, like, he was with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was always a good cop. You know, I'd make friends with him. And I don't want to do this. Jump out of the I don't want to do this. He wants to do this. this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Look, I'm your friend. <laughs> yeah, weird. Max Payne. Add me on Steam. <laughs> Follow me on the tweeter. On the tweeter. But, yeah, H1Z1... Like, in comparison to where it was around launch, anyway, it has made some significant improvements. It's still got a ways to go, and it's fucking do something with the hacker. Honestly, they just got rid of the majority of the hacking. That game would be awesome. But it's just they can't seem to do that. Even though they just posted... That was actually a couple weeks ago now that they posted that they got rid of 25,000, but it's still, like, a thing. I am guarantee you if we all hopped on tonight inside of an hour, we would just... A floating corpse over our dead body would... Not fun. I still want to hop on. It was fun before it was ruined by hackers. Well, you, uh, you've you been playing a lot of uh, Star Trek Online lately. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Juicy, juicy, juicy Tales from Star Trek Online. <laughs> Have you done any of the uh, like ship battle horde mode thing? Because that's no. like, all I played in that game. I've done like 10 a... hours into Star Trek Online. It was all nice. in that uh, ship mode thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, that the ship battles is really fun. It's Almost exactly like. Uh, have you guys ever played a uh, Star Trek Legacies on 360? No, I remember that it's, game. It's pretty remember. much just the ships from the entire timeline, you know, just doing battle. Um, and it feels that sounds a lot awesome. Like it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, dude, it was so fun. Uh, and the 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 ship battle feels a lot like that. You know, you it's not too involved. You know, if if you want to put more power to certain parts of your shield you just click a button you know to increase from there you change your uh how your ship responds if it's going to put more priority on defense or attacking or balanced uh and then you don't you just you can either like auto attack or like you, you know hot bar hit keys to like you know shoot torpedoes and lasers in a certain sequence that you want and it's like an awesome naval battle you know you just like slow moving ships going around each other if you cut them off correctly, they'll they'll have to like waste time turning around, and they can't get their weapon on you. It's 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 super fun. Uh, I, I'm playing with some friends, and we're only we're only doing like the starting stuff right now. Uh, we don't have all that much time to play together, uh, but uh, most of the battles we've been in has, have been basically tutorial levels. Like no way you would lose this battle really. Um, and when you die, you, you respawn right away in that instance. Uh, but, you know, it's it's been super fun. And we were almost going to do one of those horde mode raid raids. But then we got scared because we were like, oh, this is level 25. Let's just head to our mission. That's not dilly-dally here. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm looking no forward pussy, to playing Jose. all more. No pussy. You can do it early on. You just got to kind of, like, it, it Well, we missed out because... Quiet. that. We did our first mission. We were like, let's go into this, you know, nebula where there's obviously a bunch of ships fighting. And then we were like, nah, let's just go on the mission. We'll come back for it. We go to the mission. We've never seen another raid in since. Now you'll never make it to Pancake's house, Jose. (laughs) Never. (laughs) Never. Well, it's not not a raid. It's like an instance type thing. Granted, I did this years ago. A couple years ago, at least. But yeah, Um, it was just an instance thing. And the guy has a wide range of levels. So even if you're low level, as long as you kind of hang in the back, if there's another, just bodyguard each other. Yeah, I mean, I, I I love Star Trek, and uh, I remember when this game first came out, I was all in. I was I was this close, this close to getting the lifetime membership. 
uh, but then I was like, nah, because I know in like two years I'm never gonna play this game again. Kind of like months. every MMO. Six yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. The and sure enough, th- like th- when I left beta, you know, I hopped on maybe for a month and then I stopped playing. Because it was kind of bare bones. The only MMO that's ever kept my attention for more than two months. Is- wow. Yeah. <laughs> I played, I played Age of Conan for like a month and a half, I think. I played that for a week. <laughs> Man, that, that, I just didn't like that game from the get-go. I played WoW for like three months straight. That was the longest MMO stretch I, stretch I ever had. I played for two years before I stopped playing. Bunch of fucking scrubs over here. And we all can't be the shit lords you are, Palmer. Palmer's playing shit- right now. Why does, why did I pull oh, yeah. that? What, what do you think I'm doing with my other hand? <laughs> Waz does everywhere. Yeah, I'm raiding right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnaros, please. But uh, but there's been a bunch of stuff that they've added to the game. The stuff I haven't uh, tried yet. Uh, but it's on its its tenth season, which is its tenth like biggest event or, or update. Um, they've added player-made uh, quests, kind of like City of Heroes style. Uh, they've added uh, like a player marketplace, kind of like uh, Diablo 3 back back when it had it. Um, they've added new forms of microtransactions, so it's not like, it's it's still kind of pay-to-win, but it's it softens the blow a bit, because you can gain the lithium crystals by doing Random uh, quests and, and, uh, and it's not really a stuff. PvP esque game. It's much more of a like get a few friends together and just do some questing. Yeah. So, but um, but yeah, the, but they encourage you to join ranks or guilds at a certain point because that's when you actually can do a lot of like high level stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to finding more of that stuff out. So far, everything's been cool except like missions with an away team. That stuff has been pretty. Cookie cutter standard, not fun at all. But I'm hoping that's just because it's it's like the the tutorial level essentially. So uh, hopefully that'll change. It'll be a little more dynamic. But it's been fun, and it's only really been fun because I've been playing with you know two close friends, and we all love Star Trek, and we just get to nerd out. Nerd. It's essentially a, a a a lobby or just like a thing, so we can nerd it out. Nerdgasm all over one yeah. another. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing since I've been. So basically, you're saying it's tabletop sim, but with Star Trek, <laughs> yeah, Star exactly. Trek assets. <laughs> it's a little too complicated, too. Like it's, I don't know if it's it's more complex than when I started playing a while back. But um, it's and it's not too like friendly off the get go. Like they don't really give you instructions, which is nice because it it's good to figure it out on your own. But for like twelve missions i was like all right so oh, you play this the tutorial. Is... well i'm glad they don't really have <laughs> a straight up you know wall of text do this 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 and this it's uh, like uh there's like a faint robot voice in the background during like you know dialogue chat and like uh so you miss everything but actually, when, you, when you figure it out it's it's pretty that, rewarding it's actually a good thing the tutorial wasn't there or else you would have just uninstalled yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I joke about that stuff. Oh, it's good to have you back. You guys, <laughs> but I think if if the game insulted my intelligence, I wouldn't have given it another chance. Uh, it's just fun realizing, oh, hey, guys, guys, wait, wait, wait. You can change this to do this attack pattern, or you can do this, this, and this to like upgrade your your officers, your your ship officers to do blah blah blah. That's, yeah, the problem is discovering true. stuff like that a hundred hours into the game. That, yeah. That's that's well, where the issue. That would be play. crazy, but since but you have absolutely you know, we, done, we just don't you started. Play it off? We just we just started, so I think we're we're, we're within that grace period where uh, we're, yeah, we're allowed to be. Yeah, we're Fair allowed enough. we're allowed to be excited about learning something. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, and and I've been playing a lot of Risk of Rain, and I finally beat it solo. Um, oh, not really. Can you uh, beat that game? Yeah, I thought it was just like a, a procedurally generated thing. Um, well, it is. But the, the levels boss. are, but yeah, there's there's five levels, I think. Okay. And there's, well, there's a more boss. levels, but there's you have to go through at least five of them, I think. Like if you go through the right to the right. Oh place. no! It th- when you reach the fourth level, it gives you the option of going to the last level or starting over. That's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And uh, yeah, 
and it's it was cool and i beat it again today with a buddy of mine um and we got the hang of it it took a few months and but it's still super fun and super replayable like most uh roguelikes yeah, i need to get on it <laughs> i need to that's check pretty it fun out. yeah Me, the isaac and uh colin ran through that a few months back and we're all, we're all dead when Isaac managed to do it with like a sliver of life if memory serves. So, yes. good, good intenseness. It's the perfect thing for like something along the lines of like Dota queues, though. Like honestly, because you can just pause it. Oh, not can care you? About okay. It. Yeah. Right. Just pause mm-hmm. it. Not care about it. Well, not in the multiplayer, but in the single player. Oh, right. It's, if you're doing like ranked, especially or something where you got a five minute queue time, it is perfect for that. Like you should. That's that's how you should experience that game, Paul. While, while playing Dota. Yeah. <laughs> Every time it's, I die, I just boot up Risk of Rain. <laughs> it's not even something. Well, if you have two monitors, obviously that's what you do. But it's not even something you need two monitors for, just because it's so it's such a low resource game. Like you could literally just minimize. Uh, just pop it up. A, the game crashed for Dan because uh, we were at a point where we were like Super Saiyan twelve, and we just had gold and items and everything exploding. That like it it messed up his. Uh, his video card or something. Well, he has a media for laptop, doesn't he? Um, Even that. Yeah, though. it's a. It's got like a its own like dedicated graphics card. I mean, it's nothing compared with our like desktops. But um, I mean, it's not that bad of a rig for a laptop. That's not. I think honestly, it's something on his end because he, he runs a lot of games kind of sluggish. He also runs a thousand tabs open on that. Firefox. Yeah, that probably all the time. That probably has a lot huge. to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we've been playing a lot of games recently, and uh, it's been super fun. Yeah, Especially, uh, I, missed our, I missed our Mass Effect times. So those were good stuff. Oh, uh, I ran into something interesting when I played Mass Effect uh, a few days ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've never really experienced this, but I guess it exists. Like a uh, weird modded games, like a modded server, because I joined, I joined a game. And then the first thing that was weird is a dude like spawned to like an area you couldn't get to. I was like, huh, that's strange. And then it was nothing but, but uh, rounds of like banshees, like the in, like the Sith Lord, yeah, yeah, like human, uh, yeah. Uh, so they're like, the Asari was... simulated. Are they Asari? Yeah, they're the Asari. Oh, uh, so yeah, they're but no, but they're like in human rounds. Hmm. They're they're just like elite. Uh, I thought you were talking Biotic. about the screaming, like, giant, scary Oh, bitch. no, no, no. Phantoms. I meant phantoms. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. The chicks with the swords. Right. So, yeah, it was like, you know, 50 would spawn at a time, then a dude would shoot, like, a nuke into the air and kill everything, and, like, the rounds would be, like, two seconds long, and I was like, what the crap? This is really weird. Something must be going on with the game. So, you know, we, we win the game. I didn't notice all the credits and experience I got, as I, I was paying attention. I was, like, trying to figure out what was going on. Hacking Next round, I realized, oh, these guys are hacking the crap out of this game, and I am reaping all the benefits. Because at the end of two rounds, that in a Mass Effect game, like or yeah, I gonna never ban your account. Oh, I already <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I reported him. Don't worry about it. And I don't so want uh, scum I, my servers. I got like a million credits, and so I was like, Jesus Christ! So like, I, the first thing I did was like, I logged out, logged back in to see if maybe, you know, they they were they were going to ban my account. Right. And so, like, you know, it checked. It, it did do a weird thing, though. It it was stuck in a loop trying to um, trying to authenticate my DLC. I was like, fuck, I've been banned. Damn it. Damn it. But then eventually it, it went through. And so I was like, well, I'm going to spend all this money right away. Then I realized that uh, an arsenal pack is like 99,000 credits. So I could only open 10 of them. Really, there's that's, that's a credits lot, really... Jose. That is a lot. But still, for a million that's credits, hours I could have upon opened like, hours. a trillion of the, the lower base ones and have a higher percentage statistically to get the same weapons. Nah. Still, because I would have like a hundred not... times more opportunities with the five thousand credits. That's not Bioware math, dogs. <laughs> you the decimal. Oh, you think it's it's works. capped? You can't get rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Speaking anyways, this... like uh, I picked up a cool we- one cool weapon. That's it. Yep. <laughs> that was it from all One the credits? One cool shotgun, yeah, but it's crazy OP. It shoots like a blue flame and it kills everything like right away. All right then. Yeah, but it, yeah. And then I played again today and I made 200,000 credits just regular playing, so I, I, sh- I didn't really take advantage of the hackers. Huh. I should have stayed in longer. You should have, yeah. <laughs> but then your account might Because apparently been there's no repercussions. 
I'm still playing. I, I, that's not a good mentality to have. <laughs> do it, guys. I'm warning you. If you can <laughs> hack a game, do it. <laughs> Dark Mushroom Media approves. <laughs> Some fucking... Oh, my God. <laughs> Some brew logic right there. Sir. Oh, man. Oh, Jose approved, guys. It's safe to do. It must be safe. I mean, if you everybody see else some does of the it. shit Jose approves of. Oh, man. <laughs> I do want to point out, uh, since we're talking, we're on the subject of Bioware, that Dragon Age today, they've actually been doing a lot of weekend event things, I just unbeknownst to me. But yeah, they, for the past couple weeks in a row, they did weekend events, and they've been doing them a couple of months, since, pretty much since the game launched. I just didn't fucking know about them. So that's a thing. Nothing really spectacular. Um, Basically, they'll set a goal for, like, kills for the community, and then they'll set a goal for either, like, kills or games played by certain classes or kills with certain weapons for you. So it's basically an opportunity. i got to stop saying fucking basically. It sounds like an asshole. It's an opportunity for you to get a couple of chests and some loots and stuff in addition to your normal loots grinding. Just want to put that out there. Someone somewhere plays Dragon Age. It's fun. It's fun. Now, with Isabella as a class, you can run around with Twin blades and just fuck shit up. It's good stuff. Mm. Oh, I just remembered. Well, not really. I don't know why I thought of this a while back, but I actually did end up playing more Dragon Age Origins than I originally thought. Because I remember banging the gay elf. No. <laughs> All right. So I, so I didn't just stop at the at the first camp. I went, you did went stop off. at that camp, though. I was I was there that day. Like I remember. Yeah, that. I mean, for a long time. Then I played again, banged the gay elf, and then stopped playing. And then got the fuck out. All right. All right. You, bang, you banged elf an elf booty. and moved on with your life. That's the thing. <laughs> you just loved him and left him, huh? That was that was that oh, was your that was your oh my thing. You know. And what are you oh, scowling at over playing? there? I, just, I, I have to like go. I have to do this to like read chat. Sometimes I need to move my monitors oh, around. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've rearranged everything for the qualifiers just so I can just be a fat fuck and do oh, nothing and watch qualifiers and play Shadowrun. So I, my setup's just mm -hmm. a little fucky right now. Before you guys talk about all that, what have you guys been playing? Uh, Dota. Shadowrun, Hearthstone, Dota. Dota, the <laughs> Hearthstone, and The Witcher. Oh, my, yes, The Witcher. I started my second playthrough of The Witcher. Oh, nice. You said that um, game was garbage, right? Yeah, Wait, absolute garbage. It's not garbage, like zero out of 10. 500 hours of gameplay? I just, I, I was reviewing it, so I did a lot of the, just main, uh -huh. mainly mainly just the storyline stuff. Because so I was a bitch. So I started, I, like at first I was doing a lot of the, it, it took me like 73 hours, 74 hours, something like that. Um, at first I was doing a lot of the, the side quests and then I just moved on to pretty much just doing the storyline stuff uh, and only doing side quests when I felt I needed to level up more. Um, you kind of have to when you're reviewing those types of games. Yeah. Like, I didn't uh, play through all the Dragon Age shit when I reviewed it. Just because, you know, I probably could have taken a little longer with it, but, I, you know, I tried to give myself, like, a week deadline for those. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, gave, I, <laughs> I ended up giving it a 10 out of 10, dude. I, I absolutely loved it. Um... I, uh... With the graphic of dance scaling. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I... Whatever. I, my, my article appeared on N4G. Uh, and, dude, just the amount of comments, <laughs> the amount of hate that that article got, dude, just because of the graphics downscaling was unbelievable. I told you, the fucking internet, dude. Was unbelievable. The internet. People were, people were saying, what, this game is garbage, seven, seven max... Graphics, graphics aren't what were you know what 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 were initially promised. And I was just like, mm. yeah, Jesus Christ! All right, uh, there, yeah, like I said, I'm on my second playthrough now. Um, there are a few things that I wish I would have touched upon, but honestly, I think I'd still give the game a 10 out of 10. There's some inventory management stuff that really could be a lot better, um, and it's getting to the point where it's becoming kind of tedious. Uh, but I believe CD Projekt Red just said that they're actually going to patch it. Um, so we'll see when or where that actually comes into play. Uh, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm still in love with it. Obviously, I'm in love with it. it, it it's rare for a game to... For me to be able to finish a game and then turn around and start it right back over again. Um, the only thing that I've ever like done that with 
aside from, you know, games that I put thousands of hours into, uh, is, like, Dark Souls. Uh, that was really the only other <laughs> series that has ever really gotten me to play it immediately over again, at least the first one, and Demon Souls. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great. I am really looking forward to exploring more of that world and really getting into some of the side quest stuff. Um, perfect game in my eyes. Huge recommendation. Uh, other than that, I've been playing Hearthstone and Dota. I've uh, been watching a lot of Dota stuff. Um, I in, in, Yeah, qualifiers. Uh, I'm almost finally back at 3k. I'm at 29.84 right now for MMR. Uh, and my party MMR is floating at about 3,600 right now. Um, I remember when my party MMR was around there. Good times. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm absolutely loving the new patch in Dota. I, I cannot tell you how much that patch has improved this game. Um, both both from a perspective standpoint and actually playing it. It's not it's not the game it has been for the past six months. At yeah, all. it's just it's much more action orientated yeah, than it was back in like TI three and shit. Team fighting left and right always. Uh, there's constant struggling going on, dude. Like some of the new items I'm really starting to understand how they're supposed to be utilized thanks to thanks to the qualifier matches and stuff and and that's adding a whole new perspective. Uh, in Hearthstone, I'm the highest rank that I... Dude, it's been a good gaming week for me. I'm the highest rank that I've ever been in Hearthstone. I'm, I'm, I'm so close to rank 9, I can taste it. Shit, Lord. Um, I, uh, this is, the, like I said, this is the highest I've ever gotten. Before, my previous, my previous notch was 14. Last season, that was the highest that I'd ever gotten. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm crushing it this season with this Shaman deck. Uh... That started off as something that I pulled off of uh, Hearthpone, uh, but then I, I swapped like seven cards, um, and I'm finding that I'm a lot more successful with them. Um, like I said, there was a point where I was absolutely unstoppable. From from rank fucking 25 all the way down to 10, I was completely unstoppable. My peak was 18 and 0. Uh, I, it was to the point where I thought the deck was just a fucking joke. Like, I was I was getting cocky. I was making a lot of stupid plays because I always had an answer to whatever anybody threw on the board. And then rank 10 hit, and I lost my first match. And that booted me down. <laughs> Back to rank 11. And since then, it's been like, all right, I'll win two, lose one, win two, lose one. Um, before the cast started, I actually lost two in a row. So now I'm back to fucking halfway in 10. Um... But yeah, it's it's so it's getting but it's I'm only seeing the same two types of decks over and over again. So it's getting to the point where that deck just needs to be tweaked a little bit more to counter this the shit that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of people play secrets, I'm seeing a lot of face hunters, and there's a new fucking paladin deck that cha literally throws down no it's it's the longest I played a 45 minute round of Hearthstone the other night because I was playing against a fucking paladin deck that it literally it revolves around changing all creatures health and attack damage to 1. And then every once in a while, the Paladin will play like a Blessing of Kings and turn it into a 5-5 and swing at you. But then you have to throw your entire fucking army of 1-1s at that. And then it resets the board. And then all of a sudden, you're just you're, you're stuck there for fucking four or five turns in a row not doing anything except ping, pinging the enemy for two damage. Um, and I, I've, I've beat them every single time consecutively, but they are such a pain in the ass to play. You have to manage your spells so perfectly. Because, you know, if he throws down a Hobgoblin or what? what's the Paladin sword that adds plus one, plus one to anything that goes... Truthbringer? The, some something Lightbringer like or something like that? Uh, no, that's the one that does... That's the 4-2 gain two health when you swing. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, yeah there's Hearthstone, I know. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a weapon that they... So basically it runs off you gaining board control, I guess, from your 1-1s one being beefed up. Um, and it's just... God damn it, dude. It's such a annoying fucking deck and that's all i see paladins play right now um and so i'm facing these three types of decks and it's getting to the point where like yeah i can still beat them i need to tweak some things obviously because of my my win percentage is going way way down um because it's just the same three decks over and over again but it's getting to the point where i almost don't want to continue because i'm just getting so fucking sick of playing against face hunters well face hunters and zoo locks are th those are two decks that you can crap you can make reasonably powerful decks that could get you to legendary at much lower cost than some of the right. some other decks i've come across right yeah and i mean that's that's absolutely true that's why i ran a hunter for fucking six man, months or whatever man that takes the fun out of the game it takes the fun out of the, it completely takes the fun out of the yeah, game. yeah it's like and, you know they're charging um, you for stuff they, you know, probably shouldn't. It probably tells you for other stuff. And it's, it's just, 
I will say, you know, I have I did come across one really interesting mage deck, uh, what, yesterday? Um, that was unlike anything that I had ever seen before, and I was really not expecting it. Um, it was almost like, uh, you remember those old, um, uh, assassin decks, um, that, what the hell, card, you would play a spell and you drew a card and, it, like, basically made your hand, like, constantly moving. Um, it was basically, like, one of those for Mage. I can't remember what the card is. It's, like, the five mana for the 4-4 four, four whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. Azure Drake? Or the Goblin guy? Yeah, the Goblin guy. Goblin guy, yeah, he's um, draw a card. Azure Drake's plus one spell damage. Yeah, um, and so I saw one of those that revolved around casting Mage spells, and it was nothing but board control and these two creatures and secrets. Uh, but... Well, let me think. He would establish board control with other stuff. Uh, but yeah, it was unlike anything that I had ever seen before. And he went through his entire hand, but multiple times, like, er, once we hit turn 10, he was just constantly drawing cards, and there was nothing that I could do with about it, because he would counterspell whatever that I tried, or tried to throw at destroying it. He would just uh, frost, or not frost, uh, blizzard or um, blame strike any creatures that I had on the board or throw frost bolts at them. Like it was, I couldn't keep anything going and he was just drawing through. And then he played a Lord Valen and just fireballed me in the face over and over and over again. And that was it. And I was just like, okay, <laughs> I have that card's no, not OP I have, all. I have no fucking response to this at all. <laughs> GG. <laughs> um, well, the best is when they have the spell, uh, spell bringers, the guys that, uh, it's minus two to spell cost on mage. If you get a couple of those out, you can yeah. just keep flame, mm -hmm. just flame the entire board, and then just melt your opponent's face. Yeah, it was that was what ridiculous. A, what a card, boys. So that's been my life in Hearthstone. Uh, and Timmy, you've been playing a shitload of Shadow on that. That's all I've seen you on this past week. I do have a bit of an interesting story. I was basically I just had to go to this lab and retrieve some data because I don't want to get into the whole over arc of it but this guy had been locked in a lab for three years and he only had access to a tv show that was really sh a really shitty fantasy tv show that had eight, eight episodes and he basically went insane over the course of three years watching this show to the point where all of his robots were peasants and he was the king of the castle and he addressed me as like good day sir and just it was it was very fucky just robot knight peasant things in shadow run right. <laughs> it was it was a thing uh, i managed i managed to talk him into uh I managed to use my charisma to tell him that I was on a quest and he helped me out. And then at the end of it, I just shot him in the head because he annoyed me. Because you can do that. Because it was a dystopian cyberpunk world. Yes. Yeah. That a crazy person was running like King Arthur's court in this lab where he was living off of organs, like human organs that were being grown there. So he was reasonable. Yeah, he was just cannibal, crazy person watching a shitty fantasy TV show and he went insane. His robots were his knights that he knighted, anointed. Anointed with it organs. Was, it was. It was. It was, <laughs> some, it was like I've seen a lot of weird shit in Shadowrun, and that was like, well, all right, that's that's a fucking other weird thing in Shadowrun I can add to the fucking list. Nice. And the uh, Shadowrun Chronicles, everyone has ho like the little bit of voice acting in it. Everyone has horrendous Boston accents. And like, hey, cocksucker, you want to come do a run for me? Get in the cab. We'll take you over to the Radiator. Yeah, where's Fallout Four? <laughs> Fuck. Just and like the one of the main characters are like honestly it's long island like it's a long island accent but it's supposed to be like a bostonian ass mm. accent and it's just not it's just, <laughs> long island. just fuck so that's also a thing but yeah just playing shadow run dealing with that shit good stuff uh i should throw it to chat i'll throw it to Farsendor if he wants us to bring up anything before we start to come to a close Apparently he found your uh, post, by the way, Palmer. He's a frequent member of N4G, whatever that is, that website. Uh, yeah. And also he agrees with the uh, Witcher inventory system being fucked. Yeah, a lot of people do. <laughs> that was actually like a massive thread on Reddit. Uh, was talking about the inventory system. It was so funny because it was like just after I was like, all right, this inventory system needs a change. Yep. Like... <laughs> My. Oh, just, just as I was like, all right, this inventory system needs to change, like that Reddit thread popped up, and I was just like, all right, well, apparently I'm not the only person that feels this way. <laughs> it was like upvoted like 3,000 times, dude, on, on, on the Witcher 3 subreddit, which is impressive. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it does need to get changed, but yeah. 
I'm trying to remember, but like I'm only really fucked around with the first one, and just that was a bad, bad experience for me. Oh, pepperoni or summer sausage? That was a question I got asked earlier. Get your, uh, get you two uh, viewpoints on the subject. Oh God, dude, I love both of them. That's what I told them. Are both like cured meats? Summer sausage also like salty and yes. dry. Yes. Yes. Uh, I guarantee you've had summer sausage. You had to have summer. Point. You absolutely did. Uh, Cheesecake fucker. Yeah. Italian sausage? Is that uh, any, anything close to it? Guinea sausage. Not really. Not quite as like spicy, I guess. Um it's mm. it's like salami kind of, except without Yeah, it's like salami kind of. Like salami breeded with a kielbasa. Mm. Does that make any sense? No. Yeah. I don't like okay. that you use breeded. 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 <laughs> Bre bread. You just imagine two bread. fucking rolls of meat just, just going at gliding it. over and over and over again. Uh, um, I don't know, man. That's such a that's a hard. I like both of them at different points on different things. I I uh, hmm. that's a good question. I don't think I could just choose one. If I had to just choose one, I'd choose probably pepperoni because Corbin's pizza. Corbin's flaming you in chat. By the way, I just wanted to bring Fuck that up. Corbin, man, Corbin. What's he full? What's he saying? Y'all I don't know. Apparently, it, origi it originated 90 miles from his house because he lives in the fucking Minnesota. What? Mm. What originated so 90 miles? From I don't know. He's, he's probably topic. drunk and like domestic he's abusing totally and stuff. Drunk. He was messaging me on Steam earlier, talking about, "Oh, let's play Diablo." <sighs> Kerbin, I'm not going to power level you again. You died. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys playing hardcore? Yeah. I'm the only person that hasn't died yet <laughs> of our entire group. I don't think I ever ran a, a Diablo 3 hardcore character. I ran lots of two characters, but they, you know, they got deleted after I fucking think, couple months. I think fucking Al even Alex died on his like eighth or ninth character. Uh, I don't know what the fuck keeps bringing that guy to that game. I, I can understand already picking it back up when the new season starts, but once you hit your eighth character death, like... <sighs> Uh, <laughs> or at least switch over to not hardcore so your character doesn't, you know, get completely wiped. He, well, that's what he, he said. He said that to me. Uh, in, I think I might have actually said this story already. He said that to me in Steam, and I ended up just trolling the shit out of him. I spent. I said. I said. Uh, yeah. I started. I started quoting fucking Celine Dion lyrics to him. I was like, "Don't worry, Alex. You'll remember her in your dreams, and your heart will go on." And then I spammed the fucking YouTube link for Celine Dion's music video to "My Heart Will Go On" over and over again. And he uh, he called me a troll and immediately signed offline. It's an appropriate report. <laughs> Reported to Valdo. I think I kind of upset him a little bit that night. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you have that effect on people sometimes. Well, you, know. you can't help yourself. Yeah, well, well, you do too, Tim. <laughs> oh, I, 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 the thing is, I enjoy it. I thrive off of it. It's my oh, life force. Man. <laughs> I play techies all day, every day. Um, but yeah, uh, it, really, there's nothing else to to say. Do we want to talk about the qualifiers at all, or are we just gonna wait until they're over? I don't. I think we're gonna do a like a cast day one of the international or maybe before it. I don't know. I, I want to, we're, we're going to do something for the fucking pro Dota. Non I just don't know how it's going to work out timing wise. Like, I don't know. Do we want to do one next week with the next qualifiers? Do we want to wait for the international? Oh, yeah, do we want to wait for like, the uh, I, I don't, it's just whenever, honestly. When does that all start? Well, North America is getting ready to wrap up. Yeah, but North America, who gives a shit? The only one really worth paying attention to. RV. <laughs> <laughs> North America, it's North America's shit. China's meh. It's not as boring as I thought it would be, honestly. But I think dude, it's been great. It's been yeah, great. It's, you can tell that they're annoyed with this patch. Like I can just sense it. Who China? The, yeah, I yeah. can just sense it from the entire country. They just yeah. want to play the long farm game, and that's just, no, no. So now so they're adapting to that. It. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, dude. There, there's. It's because of that reason that that. There's no chance that any Asian team will win the international this year. There's just no chance. Uh, but yeah, it's been an interesting set of matches, man. There's been a lot of interesting stuff happening. Some inter some some upsets. Uh, I know you were you were pretty upset about the way Mouse Sports performed. Uh, well, I, I had unreasonably high expectations for them. They they only well, have to... I, in my compendium. I think I put them as as ranked or placing in second. 
they were they were like a favorite of a lot of people going into it, and they're still like in it. They if yeah, they, no, they win their next uh, best of three, then they they have a invite to TI whether they win the final or not, mm. just whether or not being put in the tournament or the wild card slot. Right, right, right. Um, it's just lose. <laughs> like yeah, they did last year. That's true. Um, yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious NAR is gonna gonna win it if they don't fuck up again. Uh, I don't know. They just got dick stomped. I don't think it's obvious at all, honestly. Dude, they, but look how well they've been performing in every other in every other bracket they've played. They've won like two and zero pretty much every other fucking bracket they've played. I mean, I'm not saying they're out of it, but they're they're definitely not. Actually, that's not true. There was there were a couple like two. And... The the mouse is. I think a lot of people. I honestly, I don't see. More favor going one way or the other. It's kind of split down the middle because there is a lot of love for Mouse, but really that's just like overseas European love because it's a fucking German team in the American. Yeah, tell me how that makes any fucking sense. Just Dota. Um, Honestly, there just aren't that many good North American teams. Like they never state, they never stick together. They're, they're like I'm pretty sure there isn't a North American team that has existed since like even TI three that hasn't had like an entire roster change. Mm. I mean, uh, every team does it, but with North America, they just they can't seem to keep their teams together. For I mean, more. we all we all know Secret's gonna win it. It's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna come down to Secret and fucking uh, Alliance. Eh, I don't even know if Alliance. Right like, I don't even know if Alliance makes it to. Uh... Nah, dude, this is their patch. This absolutely is. It's fucking rat bullshit. Dude, they, just, they, they haven't games. been performing very well though. Like honestly. Like in recent months, they've they've won some. They what are you talking about, dude? Like a uh, what? Gosu Gamer has them ranked as like number four. Yeah, but they're still nowhere near as strong as like they like when they were fucking good. Like Ti three, that's when they were the shit. That's because they didn't have the competition they had now. Yeah, there is there is some truth to it that. Was a smaller, it was a much smaller pool of teams, and they were they were tight knit, and they all knew what to expect from one another. Now, now it's a gamble. Uh, the way the scene is nowadays, a lot of teams are like maybe one or two vets, and then it's a lot of new faces. Obviously, not for the huge, like the major pro teams, but a lot of a lot of the teams that like got invites to the qualifier, and even some that got direct invites. Like, There's just a lot of people that just weren't playing Dota last, like last international, and now they're fucking in it. It's just kind of interesting. Absolutely, absolutely. But every I'm... one of these teams seems to have a seasoned vet. I think was the point I was going for, or at least someone that's been in the. Well, the they realm. have to. They have to have yeah. somebody that knows what they're fucking doing and work under the pressure that this would cause. Like you couldn't just take somebody who's really good at Dota and make him a captain, a captain of a professional team. No. He, would, he would collapse under the pressure. Um, it's just something that you have to be used to from that from that sort of experience. Either way, the, if the qualifiers are this entertaining, I cannot. I cannot. Fucking wait <laughs> for the actual shit to start, dude. Those games are gonna be amazing. Some of the plays I'm sure we're gonna see, like my my mind can only imagine. I'm just glad it won't be like last year, because last year's grand final was the, the most boring, boring shit ever. Forty five yeah. minutes of nothing. Not even did, wasn't it like an hour? Hour of fucking nothing? I didn't I didn't even watch two of the games. Like I saw the first one when oh did you no. Know, it was just so incredibly just farm city, nothing happening, you know, no. five deaths at like 45, 45 minutes, minutes in, but, in yeah. yeah, but this patch just doesn't allow for that, so no, not at all. I'm really happy that we won't. I have been TV. really surprised by how how long some of these games have been going on, though. And I will say, like from a personal perspective, I've been surprised. Like Corbin tuned in and watched a game of mine earlier that we were getting we were getting dick stomped for the first like 35 minutes of it, and then all of a sudden. Things changed. They got the enemy team got too cocky. We caught them out too many times, and we ended up winning. That game lasted like 70 minutes. Uh, and Corbin, every time he tunes in, he, it's always a really long game. It's like 60 plus minutes. And Corbin actually commented, like, you know, Jesus Christ, the games you've been playing have been really long in this patch. And uh, you know, it's one of those things where it doesn't feel like it's as long because you're constantly fighting. Like, I'll look up at the clock and I'll be like, oh shit, like this game's been going on for over an hour, but it only feels like it's been going on for maybe a half hour um, because of the fact that you're, especially, I've been playing a lot more support lately, and I've noticed that supports have a lot more um, to give. Uh, in this patch, uh, they're a lot more important. Like, they've always been important, obviously, like, for getting vision and, you know, supporting your carries and making sure they don't die and stuff. But this this patch, it feels different. You're constantly rotating. You're constantly pulling. You're stacking. You're throwing out wards. You're doing everything that, that you used to do, but you feel like you have more of an effect. And I think that, from a support perspective, has helped games feel like they're not taking quite as long. Even when watching them, it doesn't feel like they're taking as long. Um, just 
just because they're so fucking entertaining. They really nailed it with this patch. I hope they don't change it. They will. They just will. That's yeah, just the way when, it. when 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 the go to go to Asia Championships start. We'll yeah, they'll have to. <laughs> Troll Troll Warlord will once again be the most OP hero in the fucking game. <laughs> I always thought I thought the no, last they'll make they'll make Medusa was... they'll make Medusa the most OP hero in the fucking game this time. I'm just glad that AM's just fallen off in comparison than to a couple years ago, because fuck that guy used to annoy me. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think that about does it. Um, we were we are going to do a Dota cast though. I just don't know when. But we are going to do a Dota TI cast because Palmer Me can ramble on about professional Dota for quite some time. And if you add Corbin and Sam, Corbin. To that, it'll just it'll go on for fucking. Are we ever. doing fantasy? You want to do fantasy? No, no, no. I think me and Corbin are going to do fantasy. That's because you guys are shit lords. Only shit lords would do that. They did it like last year. They had five that. bucks. Nah. Put it on five bucks. We'll throw it into a PayPal I account. Don't give it'll a shit. Fun. Who gives a fuck? Dude, you could win twenty dollars, dude. It'll I buy you. It'll shit. buy you all the e-liquid and dollar games that you can purchase for I'll the next. I'll like, buy my e-liquid and dollar games. I don't need your shitty C fan league. I'm surprised that wasn't in the compendium, by the way, because that was in there last year. But I guess yeah. I, I I don't think it took off quite as no. I never as touched it as, as Valve really wanted it to. I didn't touch it either in the compendium. I think a lot of people didn't touch it. <laughs> Ghost of Gamers is actually talking about releasing like its own fantasy system for. Dota, I don't know when that's going to be implemented or if it'll be implemented before TI, but that would be fucking sweet. If, because they're making it sound like it's going to be something along the lines of like what ES, ESPN does for like fantasy football, uh, which would be fucking awesome. <laughs> See, this shit's so, all just retarded to me. Somebody needs to, somebody needs to do that. I don't know, dude. It's great. I just like watching numbers go up. <laughs> that's really what the it comes down sheet? to. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, we'll be doing a TI cast at some point. And um, we made a Steam group. For our viewership, we're going to start, uh, don't have a date set right now, but uh, we're going to start having, I don't know what games we would do, probably something along the lines of like uh, free-to-play stuff, like TF2, or even uh, Dirty Bomb, or just shit that like everyone can play. But yeah, we're going to start doing viewership games, where we'll get me, Jose, Sam, and maybe like Corbin, uh... Sam, I say Sam? I I'm forgetting someone. Yeah, anyway. Some sort of Facebook page? Yeah. We do have a Facebook page. We haven't fucked around we with should. it. We also have a website. We haven't fucked around with it. We need to do that. Yeah, we should. But the Steam group is in the bottom of this video you are watching. So you can click it and that'll take it to you. You can join there. And then we'll post announcements and stuff on when we will actually do this stuff. But yeah, it, most of the stuff we're planning on doing is going to probably be free to play stuff. Unless, you know, maybe sometimes we do Killing Floor or whatever, but that's more Dark Motion Media plays. But yeah. And we'll be doing more Dark Motion Media plays, probably Killing Floor. I'm guessing is our next game, just because that's a game like all of us have, and it's funsies. We'll be bringing back Dark Mushroom Media after Dark. That was never a thing. We're that was bring sexy we're bringing back. it back. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Can we just call it bringing sexy back. No. What? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Well, I hope you have enjoyed watching the nonsense and tomfoolery that has befalled you this evening. This is number twenty for us. So we're just so awesome. And, uh, yeah, more yeah. stuff coming. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, don't forget to check out our individual streams. Uh, we've got also a... below the video. Yeah, below below the video, you can check out links to that. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Logan Simser, at Sturmsworth, at CAD007. Uh, and you can follow Dark Mushroom Media at Dark underscore Mushroom. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we'll be back next Wednesday, I guess, 10 p.m., same time. Same faces, probably, hopefully, maybe. I don't Better know. fucking be. Tired of this shit. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We're out. Peace.